Over a thousand miles off the coast of California lays a vast expanse of open Pacific Ocean, an area where four ocean currents come together to form a swirling vortex of waters. The North Pacific Subtropical Convergence Zone, or as it's commonly known, the North Pacific Gyre, is one of the most remote and untraveled parts of the globe. Yet in recent years, humanity has shifted more attention to this inaccessible area. The primary motivation instigating humanity's focus on this landless realm is quite simple. Human trash. We call it the oceanic hairball because those things seem to gather all kinds of nets somehow and, and blend them together. It's pretty strange, over. The impact of these materials is not altogether clear. Toxins such as DDT and PCBs are known to be present interacting with synthetic and organic matter. Evidence has indicated these materials are being ingested by sea life, ultimately affecting the health of fish, birds, and other species, while at the same time giving us warning that the materials and toxins may be entering into our human food chain. How much trash is out there? This is mere speculation. But what is known is the debris problem has been escalating the past 25 years, and it is pervasive, complicated, and very real. You know, we're heading toward catastrophe right now. Literally everyone on the planet Earth is dependent upon a healthy uh, ocean environment. The problems are big. We're not solving them fast enough, so we all got to get on it. We're either going to deal with this stuff or we're going to drown in plastic. I am very committed to finding solutions to this marine debris problem in the Pacific. We are out here to try to accomplish really good science and, and to really seek solutions for picking up the debris. I've unfortunately started to see some terrible changes in the ocean. I thought if nobody is taking on cleaning this up, I better do it. You know, this all happened on my watch, so to speak. About 90% of what we were seeing in our trawl sample were polymer debris. And we saw very little signs of life. So here in, in the sample that we got from our night trawl, we're seeing lots of sail jellies, and within one of the sail jellies, right on top, we found a, a piece of foam. And we're starting to get more plastic in our samples as we go. What you couldn't see from, from the boat and what you could see when they brought it up was very disturbing. All of what you bring up, you can't even see unless you're, unless you're staring right down at it. It's hard to describe it. I mean, if, if you see pictures of the, of the surface of it and you can't see it. I was surprised. It wasn't quite what I expected. It was worse in, in a lot of ways than what I expected. One of the dramatic manta trolls uh, pulled up lots of jellyfish and lots of pieces of plastic. And you could see pieces of plastic inside the jellyfish, outside the jellyfish, and you could see the jellyfish ingesting the plastic and it just makes one realize so, that a lot of one. sea life may be ingesting plastic and this oh, is very oh bad God. for the whole ecosystem. There's nothing like an eight continent or anything like that but it's even more striking to see the small plastic debris everywhere where we look even with the first trawl it's only I believe 400 miles off the coast of California. The ocean is our life source not only is it a place where we see enjoyment and where we have fun and love it, but it is where we get our life and where we get our breath from. If we ruin it, that's the end of us. The ocean and the earth will survive, but we may not. It's, it's quite amazing to think of how many things are plastic and how they end up here in the middle of the ocean. It's not like people are intentionally 
throwing things into the water all the time. I'm sure there are people who really don't care about that and they just pitch it over a side of the ship or or leave it out in their yard or have it in the back of their truck and it blows off on the highway, it goes in the waterways and then it's up here. So a lot of it's just, just carelessness. People really aren't paying attention and this is where the forgotten things go. I feel that the success of this expedition will be measured on how well we're able to spread the message of what is happening and create changes in people's behaviors and in the way cities and states and countries handle their garbage and find solutions for cleanup. And it's incumbent upon us all to really focus our resources to deal with this problem because it's getting worse. We believe we can stop it, we can turn things around, but time is of the essence and our decision makers, whether it's in industries or governments, really have to listen and make a difference. And we can do it.